when I first started in the business, you know, in the early 90s, um, it was kind of a cross-platform thing. We had a lot, of net, a lot of national ad buys and you had a lot of local buys. And it was really kind of 50-50 as far as how the money got split and how the, the ad time got split. But over the years, uh, the national ad buys have, uh, have dwindled, especially in the smaller markets. And the local ad stuff has gone up and down depending on the, the general economy, but you know, kind of stayed strong. But the, I think the opportunity is to always try to stay relevant with um, your local content, and that includes news especially. If you have a strong local news, um, especially in the smaller markets and even the larger markets, where are they going to get that information? Where's the public going to get that information? Um, they're not going to get it from the internet necessarily because there's maybe nobody covering um, a smaller market. They're going to get it from the TV stations in the market. Um, the newspapers have, you know, cut way back, you know, um, pick up a local newspaper in a smaller market today, it might be more like a pamphlet than an actual paper. Um, so it's, it's key for us to always stay relevant to the local community and to serve the local community with higher end contact, content, um, especially like in California, for example, you have wildfires going everywhere. In Hawaii, we have a station in Hawaii, you have volcanoes um, that are erupting. Where are people gonna get that information? Um, the, the larger players, you know, nationally for news are going to get it from, they're going to get their feeds from the local people out there filming. Um, and it's key if, if a place needs to be evacuated, if somebody's safety or their home is in danger, they have to get it from the local news. And I think we always have to kind of remember that's our core business um, uh, and that's what makes us valuable.